Continuing coverage now, Decatur City Councilman Hunter Pepper is in hot water once again, and constituents in his district say they've had enough of the controversy that surrounds him. Yeah, Pepper's latest flashpoint involving is posting a laugh emoji on a post involving sexual content. There is a lot to this story, and News 19's Greg Screws joining us now to sort it all out. A lot of layers here, a lot to this. There were calls for Hunter Pepper to resign last night, but to fully understand what sparked this episode, let's go back to the beginning of it. Pepper put a laugh emoji on a story that was about something called stealthing. Stealthing, for those of you that don't know, is a term for when a man takes off a condom during sex without the woman knowing. Hunter Pepper seemed to indicate that he thought that was funny. At Monday morning's Decatur City Council meeting, there were people saying that Pepper embarrassed the city, making light of what many feel is a sexual assault. So late last night, Hunter did what many elected officials do when they are continually in hot water, which is to blame woke liberals. He posted a response to those complaints on social media saying, quote, after this was done, a certain woke liberal stated it affected them personally. I'm sure it's they, them, non-binary, and took it to another level, gaining their 10 minutes of fame, which in fact they got. He goes on to say, let me be clear, I'm here to grow our city. I'm here for the betterment of our district. I couldn't care less about hurting your feelings, end quote. So Pepper's latest controversy led to Cater Mayor Tab Bowling to urge him to start maybe learning from his mistakes. Mr. Pepper, uh just needs to think about the fact that he is uh, representing the city of Decatur, okay? And, um, you know, I've made mistakes <clears throat> over the past seven years. I've learned that our residents are good to forgive if we're sincere in uh, asking for their forgiveness and uh, for not continuing on doing the same things over and over again. So um, hopefully he can learn from that. Pepper was 19 when elected. He's 21 now. He says he's open to having a conversation about this if anyone wants to. News 19's Archie Snowden wanted to talk to Pepper last night, and Pepper declined.